When it comes to water retrieving, one breed stands out from the rest, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. High energy, strong, loves to swim. The state dog of Maryland, these tough dogs truly represent. These are dogs that will literally dive into icy, icy water and swim for a very long period of time. This is a dog that is very powerful, very well muscled, and very intense. General George Custer took his rough and tumble Chesapeake Bay Retrievers into battle with him. And legend holds that President Theodore Roosevelt's Chesapeake Bay Retriever, Sailor Boy, was a descendant of Custer's dogs. These were dogs that actually got shipwrecked off the coast of the Chesapeake Bay way back in the 1800s. And the Newfoundlands that were on board were subsequently crossed with American retrievers. And over time, we developed the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Bred to hunt waterfowl in the rough and icy waters of the Chesapeake Bay, these dogs had to be the toughest and most independent retrievers. The overpopulation of birds at the time often required them to make 200 retrieves per day. Not even inch-thick ice stopped them from doing their job. Their battering ram chest, broad and powerful, enabled them to break through dense ice. Chesapeake's were bred to be very durable dogs who had a very intense instinct to swim. They have several characteristics that help them take to frigid waters, like their ducks. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever is a double-coated dog. It has a soft undercoat that's very dense, and it has an oily, flat top coat. Now, that's what makes this dog a great water dog, because it actually repels the water. So one shake of a wet Chessie will leave him close to dry. One of the most beautiful things about Chessies is their coloring. Their waterproof coat comes in three basic shades that blend in with their working environment. Brown, sedge, or dead grass. And their eyes and their nose and their lips tend to be of a similar shade. Their muscular hind legs make them remarkable swimmers. They can swim fast and for long stretches of time. And finally, their powerful and wide muzzles enable them to carry large waterfowl with a gentle hold. Unlike the ultra-friendly Labrador Retriever, the Chesapeake is often standoffish around strangers and other dogs. I will warn people that although they look a lot like labs, they're not labs. Could it be a case of mistaken identity? <laughs> It's unfortunate that a lot of people mistake Chesapeake's for wire-coated Labradors because their personalities are generally very different. Of all of the sporting breeds, the Chesapeake is probably the dog with the hardest or strongest temperament. This is what makes these dogs some of the best working dogs out there. They excel in obedience, tracking, and make great explosive sniffing dogs. Lacey is a special Chessie. She trained for 18 weeks to sniff out bombs for the Ocean County Sheriff's Department. Then, on a clear September morning in 2001, disaster struck New York City. Thousands volunteered to help, including Lacey and her owner. This Chesapeake Bay Retriever was part of an elite group of canines who helped guard the city after the attack and sift through the rubble, looking for survivors and remains. It was a gruesome task. They were getting their paws lacerated because the, the fires were still going, the smoke was going. There was a lot of sharp debris, metal, glass. They didn't want to stop. They were constantly searching. The handlers really had to try and get them out. The dogs wanted to just be in there and, and do their job. Lacey devoted the best years of her life sniffing out explosives during the aftermath of 9-11. After years of brave service, her owner fell on hard times and made the difficult decision to give Lacey up. Suddenly, Lacey found herself in unimaginable circumstances, without a home. What will happen to this hero dog? Find out when Dogs 101 continues. Lacey, a canine explosives dog, served her city and her master during the aftermath of 9-11, but suddenly found herself homeless. I'm a police officer myself, so once I heard about Lacey's story, there was a definite connection that I wanted to help this dog out. We wanted to make sure that we found her the perfect home. 
Robin Edwards, a volunteer from Chesapeake Bay Relief and Rescue, immediately sprung into action to reverse Lacey's fortune. She placed an ad in the local paper, and the story made its way to the local news. You might not know it to look at her, but this eight and a half year old Chesapeake Bay retriever is a hero, one of the bomb sniffing police dogs that responded after 9 11. It created a huge public response. I started getting emails and phone calls from people who actually worked down at 9-11. People who lost family members all wanted to adopt this dog and give her a good loving home. The selection process was intensive. We went through the applications, talked to the people, did telephone interviews with them. Emails poured in by the hundreds. After 80 phone interviews, they narrowed it down to five personal interviews. Andy, an ambulance dispatcher at Ground Zero, and his fiance stood out from the rest. Andy was down in New York City when the rescue efforts were going on. And I think that it was, in a sense, their destiny to end up together. <laughs> from the moment Robin met Andy and his fiance, they knew they'd found a home for Lacey. I had an immediate connection with Andy and Donna. There was just something that spoke to us as far as being the right home for Lacey. The first time Lacey came to Andy's house, she treated it like her home. She immediately ran to the toys Andy bought her and started to play. It's been two years now, and Lacey is thriving in her new home. I get the goodies? Yeah, it's a good girl, yeah. Lacey's doing amazing today. She's happier than I've ever seen her. Lacey might be 10 years old, but she still has a lot of spunk. She loves to run and chase balls, and she's not afraid to ask for belly rubs. Here's a good belly rub. And even though she's officially retired, she keeps her nose up to snuff by searching for flares in the yard. Find it. Is he find it? I think their heroes absolutely meant for each other. Yeah. Well, Lacey's a sweetheart. She wants nothing more than to be with her people. If Lacey could speak, she'd tell you when matched up with the right owner, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever is a pleasure to own. I will usually recommend them for families that have older children or families that are adults. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers are prone to a few health issues. They do suffer from joint issues like hip dysplasia, but that's the case with a lot of larger breed dogs. They require a good amount of vigorous activity and would rather retrieve balls than go for a walk. They love to hunt, they love to retrieve, and they love to swim. So they are not ideal apartment dogs. These are the sorts of dogs that should be out in the country, out in the suburbs. Basic obedience training is not an option for this dog. They must be properly trained by a strong leader or they can become domineering. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers are not the right dog for novice dog owners. Their coat is low maintenance, so a weekly brushing should do the trick. Let's see that coat. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers love to swim and need ample space to run. Like other large dogs, they are prone to hip dysplasia and bloat. Grooming is a cinch. They need strong leadership and firm training and are best suited for experienced dog owners with older children. Puppy love. Puppy love. So to recap, the Australian Shepherd doesn't come from Australia at all. It's an all-American breed. These dogs were bred to help sheep and cattle ranchers in the West. They excelled as rodeo trick dogs. The Sholo Eats Queenly is a very old breed from Central America. Most Sholos are born hairless. The breed almost went extinct in the 50s, but today, though rare, is making a comeback. Another ancient breed is the Pekingese, bred to guard Buddhist temples in China. Chinese legend has it that they were a cross between a lion and a monkey. Today, they are a popular companion dog. A Pekingese was one of only a few dogs to survive the Titanic shipwreck. The Corthol's Griffin, also known as the Wire-Haired Pointer. This hunting breed was developed by a Mr. Corthol's in Holland. Today, it is considered one of the best bird dog breeds. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever developed when a boatload of Newfoundlands shipwrecked near the Chesapeake Bay. The locals cross them with American Retrievers to create an amazing water dog. 
Remember, each individual dog is unique and may not conform to breed standards. If you're adopting a dog, do your homework and check out PetFinder.com to search for specific breeds near you. Choose your next best friend wisely.